Okay. Food like. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm so cute. I I always dreamed of living inside a buca de pepo, and and now we do. Trina is hanging all of this to dry. She says that it reminds her of home. What mm. do I do? I don't know, throw a dinner party? Oh, you like that one. Uh, it's called Basilio. Pesto flavor, they're made from unpasteurized chips meal. Mm. Ah, we're gonna be late. I love you. Captain doesn't stack hoses. <laughs> Only one person allowed in the gym at a time, I'm making do. <sighs> that family, they, uh, they remind you of the mess you grew up with? No, no, my dad raged and threw things, but only at the walls, never at us, and never in front of the neighbors. I'm afraid to go home. To Karina? No. God, no, Karina's a savage. It's me, I'm afraid of how much I'm like my dad. You know, my brother and I chose such opposite ways of dealing with him. Mason buried his head in the sand like my mom and me. I just wanted to please him. I made myself into a perfect copy of my dad so that he wouldn't find a reason to be mad at me. I spent so many years learning how to read his sighs and silences, the hunch of his shoulders, so many years mimicking the tone of his voice. I'm scared that by protecting myself from him, I turned myself into him. You are nothing like him. And for my 13th birthday, I was allowed to have three friends spend the night. I didn't have three close friends, but some girls from the softball team came over. And we hung out in the basement. We painted nails and talked about first kisses. And I pretended like I only liked boys. <laughs> and this one girl, Holly, she went to the kitchen during the movie and she came back with a soda and I freaked out. I asked her where she got that because those were my dad's, and no one else was allowed to touch those. And Holly shrugged because she was 13, and it was a can of soda. And sure enough, a few minutes later, my dad came tearing down the stairs. Who drank my last soda? I can still feel every muscle in my body tensing up. And Holly was terrified. And he pointed his finger at her and he said, who said you could drink that? And she just stared at him. Suddenly this, this tiny little girl. And he came lumbering over to her and he ripped the can out of her hand. And he went back upstairs. And she called her mom crying and her mom came and picked her up. And this morning I woke up in the apartment and I looked around at her cheeses and her pastas and all of her wonderful everything, and I could feel the rage building inside of me. I, I could feel the who drank my last Coke rage. Because I'm so used to having control over every last inch of my space. And now she's here, and it's terrifying. I am terrified that I am gonna snap at her like him and that she is gonna stop loving me and Am I broken? Look, I'm still working on this one myself, Maya, but I think being afraid to be like your dad is the first step to not being like him.